Your original hometown dealer, Saida, Trudeau, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. I own two places in Crystal, mm -hmm. and we opened the one, we put a fortune into it, and made it beautiful, and it, it's operating very well. We're happy with it. Um, then I owned the second place down there, and it was like, well, if I finish this place up, then I'm competing with myself. Yeah, the cherry patch you're talking exactly. about, right? So it, then I'm competing with myself. So why do it until I get one up? So the business is so good. Why dilute the business? So the thought is now is to sell one of the properties mm -hmm. and uh, either one. I, I'm fine with either one. I got offers on both of them now. Mm -hmm. And whichever one goes through the process and gets the licensing uh, all done, which is it virtually, it's, it's really hard to do here. Now, this is not a, um, a brothel friendly uh, environment here. So. Why is it not brothel friendly? Well, it, it, it's it's a, a few things, and uh, and one of them they, they're going to use uh, against me in in the uh, campaign is that I think that if you can carry a gun in war and kill people and risk your life, you should be able to go to a brothel. And um, explain that. Well, in in, in Nye County, you have to be 21 years of age. There's a huge demographic from 18 to 21, so it makes it makes it difficult. The licensing is is, is brutal. It's it's brutal. When you go to apply for a brothel license, first of all, it's seven seven thousand dollars. Okay, um, then you you have to provide ten years of tax returns. Most people don't have ten years of tax returns. You're not required by federal government to keep them. Yeah. Okay. So then the other the other thing is is that you have to have a compiled financial statement. Every one of my every one of my compiled financial statement cost me thirty five thousand dollars. Every one of my girls that wants to be a, a partner in this, even if it, let's say it's a ten thousand dollar investment, and she and she just wants to be a part of things yeah. and maybe add to that that percentage that she owns over a period of time. She has to pay $7,000 for a background check to, to go through this whole rigmarole when these other partners didn't. And they're going to enforce it with me because I'm Dennis Hoff. What will happen if some of the girls don't pass the background checks? How will they be employed there or uh, be owners? Because you will only have a certain amount of girls that can be owners then, right? Well, no, you could have a, a lot of people be owners. It, it's two things. One, a girl would work there. Another, a, a separate issue is owning a percentage of the brothel. So tell me about who is the new buyer of the Love Ranch. I don't know. Yeah. A broker, a broker brought him to me, brought me the contract, and, and that's it. Have yep. they had a background check? Uh, no, they have not applied yet. We, we got them the paperwork. Mm -hmm. uh, we went down to the sheriff's office, and they gave us the application. We got that out of the way. Mm -hmm. And so that's done, and, and he's just got to fill it out and send it in and, and go through the, the, the process. Mm -hmm.